Welcome students to our today lesson. We are going to learn the, the ninth lesson of unit five, which is about simple trigonometric identities. The student is, what do you understand from the words we have over this? Our title is what? Of today lesson, simple trigonometric identities. So we know what trigonometry is and what symbol is. What is new to us is only identities. So when we say identities, these are Things that will not change. There are formulas that we will use as a for as a as a criteria or as a rule. We will use them. So the Pythagorean identities we will see first. This identity is derived, is obtained using the Pythagoras theorem. Are they? Hada identity yada ama midalada ayno baran ayno kusab san simple trigonometry ga. وحن أكل قاضينا لواقي بود بلسا وحن كورين هذا بيتوغوريان إيدنتيتيز إيدنتيتي هذا أما مدالة هذا بيتوغرس سو قاعدة بيتوغرس كا أيام كسلينا هنا وحال كان نوعا صبحة أيام نورنا بيتوغوريان إيدنتيتيز and we will call them simple trigonometric identities so now using the definition of the sixth trigonometric function is discussed it is possible to find special relationships that exist between them. We can find any relationship, the relationship between the six trigonometric functions that we have learned. Now, to, to, to find the relationship using the Pythagoras, let theta be an angle in standard position and the point B, x, y, be a point on the terminal side of theta, as shown below. We see from the figure here, we have angle theta in standard position. Also, we have OB as what? As terminal side. So, as before, we have oversight, we have adjacent, we have hypotenuse. So, using this, we may say from the Pythagoras theorem, we know that. What do you remember from the Pythagoras theorem? Mahadbal Arachtingi Pythagoras Kahasusatan. Very good. That the legs of the angle is if we square, it will become the hypotenuse side square, isn't it? Adjacent is square plus oversight is square is equal to hypotenuse square. That is the Pythagoras theorem. In here, what's adjacent for us? It is x. What is oversight? It is y for us. And the hypotenuse is r. So we have x square plus y square is equal to r square. This is the Pythagoras. Now, if we divide both sides by r square, the equation has two parts: left side, right side. Ega selectan Pythagoras x square plus y square is equal to r square. Ega no kahel le halkan shahan ka inoga mukda amu chantuskan ino sawuran. Hadi anu lavada dina selecta wano kaibin r square mahay no sa bahay. Let us divide. So x square over r square plus y square over r square is equal to r square over r square. Since it is equation, we didn't make any discrimination. Wahan wai select. سلاكتي واحد سلاك عطانا ورا قايبينا وحي ويستسي لك انا يا هون وحبا كمان نبدل دي ويل بي ايكوال واي دينا عن يا دينا عن واحد سلاك بانو قايبينا ويسلاك انا يا هون سو ناو سكوير از كومن فور ذيم سكوير كو كدحيا سري هنا سكويرين يا اكس ار نو سكوير انت سو ليت اس تيك اكس ار اس 1 ان سكوير ات سو وي هاف اكس اوفر ار سكوير بلس واي اوفر ار سكوير از ايكوال تو 1 1 كم فروم وير هل كان كان كاين R square or local shape R square. La water or could do an ever until I saw a show is like my sober hand, half a sober hand. So it is one in there. Now, eggs of R is what? Look the figure. Kuna Kabal Chantuski. Eggs of R is a kuna on Kartab. Yo tag nature. So trigonometric function is key and so the gamma. Basic trigonometric function and so the gamma. Kava tag and eggs of R. Which one will become Y of R? 
Okay, so what is it? Egas of R. What is Egas for us from the figure? It is adjacent. What is R? It is the hypotenuse. Adjacent to of R. Hypotenuse, do you remember what it was? Mahasatan. Very good. Excellent. Okay, what about Y over R? So they are cos and the sine, isn't it? So we'll say, therefore, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is one identity. Mahanwe Lada, Hala identity or Kamida, identity by Rotogras. And also it is what? One of the simple trigonometric identities. Mahanwe Lada, sine square plus cos square, that will give us 1 always. This is identity, it will never change. It will be as it is. Now, based on this, how do we get the value of what we call y over r, x over r? By using the equation by Togres. That is why we call what? Like that. Now, the other possible relationship is that can be obtained using the Pythagoras theorem, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, will be by what? By defining both sides x squared or y squared. As we have defined both sides of the equation of the Pythagoras theorem or the Pythagoras identity, we can define also one time x squared both sides of the equation. The second time, if we want to find another relationship, we can define both sides by what? Y squared. See another set of color and hello. Identity of the color. X like T, Amma, Arctidi, Pythagoras, Umba, Nodano, Kaibin, and Amhai, Lavada, and I select Mar X squared, Mar Y squared. We will define. Now let us see. This is our graph. Let us not forget. This is the figure. So based on this figure, we will remember what function stands for the division we get. Now, if we divide both sides by x squared, what we will have? We have the following. x squared over x squared plus y squared over x squared plus r squared over x squared. Isn't it? Now, the a square is common. Now we will write x squared over x squared is 1 plus y over x squared plus r over x squared. 1 is a pure number. Don't worry about it. What is y over x? Do you remember what was y over x? Look at the, the figure. y is what for this angle? What is r for this triangle or angle? Now we can say easily what? y is oversight, isn't it? And x is adjacent, r is hypotenuse. So we can say y over x is what? Tan, chant, tan theta. Oversight of our adjacent formula. Okay, now we have the relation 1 plus tan square theta is equal to what? Sec square theta. By the way, the square is written in this form. Also, we can write by putting in bracket. Mark I am trigonometry the square. Sin theta, you get together with a bracket with a dagger in level when we square karna. How do you know bracket and then the dagger in the name? Maham Savanna. Sin tan theta la cori. So this is the possible. So take care. But if you say tan theta is square, you didn't square tan, you square only the angle. Like in Hatan Nidano, tan or tan theta on the square theta the sedu sarno, wahan we square ne wa theta o kelia. A maha function. So this is another identity. How many identities do we have? We have two identities. The first one was what? Sin square theta plus cos, cos square theta is equal to 1. What's our second identity? 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. How do we get the second identity? 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. How, how do we get? By dividing both sides of the Pythagoras identity by x squared. Now, what about this one? If we divide both sides by y squared, we have what? We have n, x square over y square plus y over y square is equal to r over y square. This gives us what? In short form, cos square theta plus 1 is equal to cos secant square theta. Look, these are called the symbol trigonometric identities. From where? From the Pythagorean identities. So we have three. Therefore, the three relation is, can you tell me the three relation is? 
1 sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is one relation. We know, isn't it? We saw how to, how, how to drive, where it comes from, how, do, how we get, we know. So then, we have to say that the standard is not going to be able to do it. We have to say that the standard is not going to be able to do So, again, the second, 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta, the second. The last, cot square theta plus 1 equal to cosecant square theta are called the Pythagorean identities. These are simple trigonometric identities. Students, how it was? It was for simple. Okay, now let us see, let us practice these three identities. Okay, to practice this identity is, let us say, example. If sine theta is equal to 1 over 2, and theta is in the fairest quadrant, find the values of the other five trigonometric functions. Here, what are we given? We have given only sine theta. What else? That it belongs to fairest quadrant. What is the advantage of, the, of knowing the quadrant? It will tell us which is positive, which one is negative. Isn't it? Now let us say solution. Solution. Since sin theta is equal to 1 over 2, so easily we can get cosecant theta. What was the relationship between sine and the cosecant? They were reciprocal of each other. So cosecant theta will be equal to 1 over sin theta, which is equal to 1 over 1 over 2. And this will become what? 2. So we have got now, we have 1 how many left it for us from the five trigonometric function is four. Let us find the other four. Now we will know from sine square theta cos square theta is equal to one. This is the Pythagorean identity. We have sine, we want to find the cos. So cos square theta will be equal to one minus sine square theta cos theta will be equal to radical of one minus sine square theta, which is equal to one minus one over two is squared. And this is 1 minus 1 over 4, which is equal to radical 3 over 4. And this is radical 3 over 2. Now again, we got another trigonometric function, cos theta. We got the value of cos theta. That is equal to radical 3 over 2 positive, since it is in quadrant 1. In quadrant 1, all of them are positive, by the way. Now, which one is simple to find again? Easily, which one can we get? We can get easily the reciprocal of cos theta. What was cos theta reciprocal? It was sec theta. So sec theta easily will become 2 over radical 3, easily. We can answer in that form. Let us see. Now, sec theta is equal to 1 over cos theta, which is equal to 1 over 1 over the value of cos what we get. Cos we get radical 3 over 2. Then it will become 2 over radical 3, upside down of the value of cos theta. Now, how many functions do we have from the five? We have three. Only two is left to us. What do you think that two? What are they? Very good. Tan and cotangent. Do you know the relationship between the two that we are searching? Very good. They are reciprocals. If we got one, if we get one, we got the other. Isn't it? Now let us see. From one plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. We have that tan square theta is equal to what? Sec square theta minus 1. Then tan theta is easily radical of the square root of sec square theta minus 1. So we have sec 2 over radical 3 minus 1. But 2 over radical 3, when we square it, will become 4 over 3. 2 square is 4, radical 3 square, that root will get out and it will become 3 minus 1. So this will become what? 1 over 3 and radical. So the one can get out, it will be what? 1 over radical 3. Now we got the value of tan theta. If we rationalize 1 over radical 3, it will become what? Radical 3 over 3. I hope it's clear. Very good. Now, what do you think cot? What is the value of cotangent theta? Can you tell me? So it is the reciprocal of what? tan theta. Therefore, it will make what? Upside down. Tan theta, we got 1 over radical 3. What will be? Cotangent theta 
radical 3 over 1, which is equal to radical 3. But we can use the identity. Cotangent square theta is equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to cosecant square theta. So cotangent theta square theta will be equal to the square root of cosecant square theta minus 1, which is equal to radical of 2 square minus 1, which is equal to what? Radical 3, the same. Why? What do you think the reason we use this formula? To practice the Pythagorean identities. In the case of the Sidibir, like in the Ankala and I'm high tie, Pythagorean identities are in Anu, practice Karainu, Kuel Elimu. That is, I hope it is clear. Now, let us see another example. Using the Pythagorean identities, find the values of the other five trigonometry function is if cotangent theta is equal to 7 over 24 and theta is in quadrant 3. Student is, this example is similar to the previous example. The one we saw before now. How is it? In, which, in what way can we find the, the other five trigonometric functions? What you must take care of is a what? You should have to take care about the quadrant. Also use what? The Pythagorean identities. We have cotangent theta. Which, which trigonometry function can you get easily without calculation? By looking like this, which one? Trigonometric function. Easily you can find tan theta. Isn't it? Okay. Now let us come to the solution anyway. Solution from cot square theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant square theta, the Pythagorean identity. We have that cosecant square theta is equal to radical of cot square theta plus 1. What do we have cot? We have 7 over 24. When we square it will become 49 over 576 plus 1. Now, when we add it will become Radical 625 over 576. Both of them are perfectly square. They can get out. 625 radical will be 25. And 576 will be 24. Why we use it minus? The negative sign. Cosecant is negative in quadrant 3. Only one is positive. What was the positive trigonometric function in quadrant 3? It was tan and cot. Now, if we have cosecant, Easily we can get sine, since the sine is the reciprocal of cosecant. So sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant. So 1 over negative 25 over 24 will be equal to what? Negative 24 over 25. So how many? How many trigonometric functions we get now? Okay, we have cosecant, we have cot only, Anna. And we have sine, we have what's needed from us? Another two. From sine square theta is equal to cos square theta equal to 1. Using this, again, we can find the cos. Since in sine, sine theta was negative 24 over 25, so we will say 1 minus negative 24 over 25 is squared. When we square this, it will become like this. Cos theta is equal to radical 49 over radical 25. Radical 49 is 7. Radical 625 is 25. Now we have negative 7 over 25. From this, sec theta easily is what? Upside down. Reciprocal. Negative 25 over 7. What's left for us? Already we have finished it. We have cos, we have sec, we have sine, we have cosecant 4, isn't it? Cotangent was given us again. Tan is easily, because if we have cot, we have tan indirectly. But we can apply the Pythagorean identity. Tan theta is equal to radical sec square theta minus 1, which is equal to the square root of sec was what? Negative 25 over 7. When we square it, it may become 625 over 49. Then you will click cross and you will solve this, and you will get 
Radical 570 sigs over 49, which is equal to 24 over 7. These are identities obtained by defining two trigonometric functions. Coefficient identity school, wa identity yo logo hela yo lava trigonometric function markala so kaibyo. The relationship between the six trigonometric functions can be derived referring to the figure below as follows. What is the oversight side from the figure? What is the adjacent? What is the hypotenuse? Can you? You are familiar. You become clever in these parties. Add but type ten harifin gutin at shaytan. Okay. Now, what is sine? Do you remember? Sine theta, it was y over r. Cos theta, x over r. Tan theta was what? Oversight over adjacent y over x. What about if you define sine theta over cos theta will become what? Sine theta over cos theta will become y over r divided by x over r. Since the division is changed into multiplication by interchanging the reciprocal, by making reciprocal of the denominator. So we can have now y over r times r over x. R, r will cancel out, we will get what? y over x. What is y over x? Yeah, y over x is to take now. y will look like x. Why do we take now? Oversight key, x is not just in t. Oversight of the adjacent here, no contrary, tan theta. What do you think here? We got one very important identity. This identity is called quotient identity. What is this identity? That tan theta is equal to what? Sin theta over cos theta. Okay, what about cos theta over sin theta? Al kawarama. Had then the sukha even cos theta is sin theta. I know how it is. I know so bahaya. Qiyasa balar day. Cos theta over sin theta gives us what? Let's take trigonometric function. La bada had then the sukha even I'm high in the sine yan. I'm high in the sine yan cos theta and the sine yan the sine yan the cotangent k in a sine yamble. Which one will it will give us when we define cos theta and sin theta? Let us see it. Cos theta over sin theta is equal to x over r over y over r. When we divide each other these two, we will get x over y. Adjacent over oversight. This is cotangent theta. Again we got what? Again we get eh, another quotient identity. These two identities are called quotient identities. What are the quotient identities? One, tan theta is equal to sin theta over cos theta. The second, cotangent theta is equal to cos theta over sin theta. What was the relationship between tan and the cot? They were reciprocal of each other. If tan theta become sin theta over cos theta, what do you expect to cot? Interchange upside down. Take cos as a numerator, sin as a denominator. So this is the question of the identities. Now, to practice this, let us see the example we have in here. Therefore, the relation is, which relation is? The relation tan theta equal to sin theta, sin theta over cos theta, and cos theta is equal to cos theta over sin theta, are known as quotient identities. Don't forget it. Now, let us see their examples. Example. If sin theta is equal to 4 over 5 and cos theta is equal to 3 over 5, then find tan theta and cotangent theta. How is it, students? So simple, isn't it? We can find it easily. Now we will say what? Solution from the quotient identity, we will know that tan theta is equal to sin theta over cos theta. So 4 over 5. Divided by 3 over 5, 5, 5 will cancel out, so we'll have what? 4 over 3. Therefore, tan theta is equal to 4 over 3. I hope that you get it, isn't it? What about cotangent theta? If we have tan theta 4 over 3, what do you think of cotangent theta? Cot theta. It will become 3 over 4, isn't it? Now again, cot theta is equal to cos theta over this. 3 over 5 divided by 4 over 5, this is equal to 3 over 4. How it was? It was interesting and simple, isn't it? Now again, let us see the activity 
that you will try by your own. Try by yourself first, then you will check your answers together. If sine theta is equal to negative 12 over 13 and cos theta is equal to 5 over 13, then find cotangent theta and tan theta. This is the first question. Second, using the Pythagorean identities, find the values of the other trigonometric, five trigonometric functions. If cos theta is equal to negative 4 over 5 and theta is in quadrant 2. Take care and give special attention to the quadrant. Okay, students, welcome again. Now we will start and check the solutions that you get. The first question is so simple. I think you have good answers of that. Sine theta is negative 12 over 13, cos theta 5 over 13, these were given us. Now we wanted to find tan theta. Tan theta is equal to what? Cotangent theta is equal to cos theta over sine theta, which is equal to 5 over 13 over negative 12 over 13, and this will become negative 5 over 12. And tan theta is sine theta over cos theta, which is equal to negative 12 over 13, divided by 5 over 13, which will become negative 12 over 5. Very good. I hope most of you get the answer of this. What about the second equation? It is simple, but too long. Now let us see the solutions. Cos theta will give us. If you have cos theta, what do you have? You have sec theta easily. Sec theta is equal to what? Upside down, negative 5 over 4. Since they are reciprocal, isn't it? 
Very good. Now, from sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, we can find from here sine theta, which is equal to radical of 1 minus cos square theta. And sine theta will become 3 over 5. If we have sine theta 3 over 5, also cosecant theta is easy. Reciprocal, upside down, 5 over 3, cosecant theta. Why we didn't make negative? In quadrant 2, sine is positive. Everywhere, sine is positive, cosecant theta is also positive. What is left for us? How many? M sine 1. We wanted to find what? Tan and the cot. If we have sine, if we have cos, we can find that also by using coefficient identities. But let us say, from the Pythagorean identity, 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cosecant square theta, cotangent theta will be radical, cosecant square theta minus 1, which is equal to this. Say cosecant, we get 5 over 3. When we square and we subtract 1, it will become 25 over 9 minus 1, and we will get 16 over 9, which is equal to negative 4 over 3. If cot become this, tan will become what? Negative 3 over 4, since they are reciprocals. Students, that is all our today lesson. To understand more, practice more. More practice makes you perfect. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>